Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. We're here at Freescale at Mobile World Congress 2010. And uh, you are a product manager of the That's software. That's correct. My name is uh, Shri and I'm a product management of uh, software in the multimedia application division at Freescale. And so what you're going to show is uh, some of the software that you are able to run on your platform, the IMX51, right? That is correct. So yeah. we have uh, uh, different devices that are shipping um, as well as um, uh, the reference design uh, platform, uh, smart book tablet platform that we have developed running different OSs. So at CES you launched uh, uh, this tablet reference design, is that correct. what it is? That is correct. So this is the tablet that we launched at CES and uh, different colors. It is um, 7 inch and uh, it runs Android or Chromium or um, uh, Linux OS. So there you have Chromium, that Chromium is, OS. That's correct. So this runs uh, Chromium OS. Essentially it, it's the Chromium browser that you see here and um, it's been booted up as you can see. Um, so the Wi-Fi connection, uh, it's browsing through Wi-Fi, yeah. but it is uh, pretty slow because of the Wi-Fi yeah. uh, connection in the conference. So, uh, so, so this is this is a Chromium OS running on an ARM-powered device. This is uh, uh, was that a big 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 job to get that working? It's uh, we have done it um, for quite some time right now, and so this is yeah. more optimizations. Uh, we have hooked in uh, the OpenGL ES graphics core in our IDOT MX51. We have also uh, hooked in our video processing unit for playback of HTML5 uh, video. Um, so uh, there are a lot of enhancements that we are working on and um, it would also uh, be done for our next gen processor. C can you use some of that hardware acceleration, the other cores like the multimedia kind of cores uh, or 3D cores to accelerate the browser like in Chrome. Is that something that's possible? So Chromium uh, uses OpenGL ES uh, as well as uh, it, it has hooks that we can um, uh, hook FFmpeg uh, to our uh, video accelerator. So the video accelerator would only be used when there's video or is it for other things the, as well? No, the video is a dedicated video core for H.264 or MPEG-4 playback or other formats. We support a whole bunch of formats. Uh, the graphics core is for rendering. Rendering of, uh, would it be JavaScript or something else or like, uh, this, like just images on the page or what is it? The actual uh, internet performance per se, the browsing is is not really controlled by the 3D core, but but rendering uh, the uh, the fonts, rendering the actual display would be through the OpenGL. Yes, but not the performance of JavaScript itself. That would be uh, we're still investigating, but it's it's possible there are some improvements there. And uh, so so um, here it is, and this is. Uh, you were showing some kind of pre-beta uh, uh, demonstration at CES, uh, and uh, so what have you done since CES? So since CES, we have uh, optimized the rendering speed, and as I said, this um, has a slow um, Wi-Fi, but we can see how it uh, uh, how it renders. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, so the Wi-Fi connection is terribly slow, but um, I should uh, uh, probably check. I, I have some HTML5 video that um, that that might be um, interesting. Because, because setting setting up a, a demonstration with local locally cached site is, is not so easy because that's not how the uh, cr uh, Chrome OS is is built to use the internet, well, right? So it is. Uh, well. There is some HTML5 uh, video which uh, unfortunately is on another SD card. Um, 
I can uh, bring that up. Yeah, this is an interface that uh, is in Chromium OS for accessing local files, or what is that? This is uh, the this is just a bookmark uh, bookmark page. It's okay. exactly similar to what is in uh, the Chromium browser itself. Right. So right now you're not able to have a touch screen for Chromium OS. It's just a uh, USB host. Uh, th that's correct. So that's why we've connected a keyboard and, and a mouse to show Chromium proof of concept running. And officially, uh, at Freescale, you've announced that this reference design is uh, to enable the possibility that tablets can be made like this and sold to co end consumers for less than two hundred dollars. Is that correct? The that's, the, uh, that's the end goal of enabling ODMs and OEMs with similar kind of devices in the market. And on, on this other one, which, uh, which OS are you showing here? Here, uh, this is uh, um, Linux. Uh, it's, uh, it's called Milos. It was done by our software partner called Thundersoft. It is just like Ubuntu or, or um, other Linux variants. So this is purely touchscreen based. And uh, this is a completely new UI that uh, was not at CES. So this is a a new um, uh, uh, something new here, and you see that it's it has uh, a browser, movie player, and it has very intuitive HMI. It also has Google gadgets, so that is interesting. So you can add um, gadgets from the web directly, uh, and this is a Google gadget. It's it's actually a clock that uh, add through the Google Gadget. So this is a gadget browser. We have... Uh, uh, this, uh, this tablet is uh, just a reference design and you're using a, a, a resistive screen, right? That's but it correct. can be implemented in all kinds of other ways. Absolutely, absolutely. Are there some, uh, some, some other things than just a resistive uh, touchscreen that, that, that affects um, uh, responsiveness in the way that, that or is it the driver that can be uh, optimized or something like that? It, it also depends on the type of screen. As you said um, before, this is a proof of concept. So um, we would obviously work with our customers to ensure that it's more fine-tuned as well as um, you know, the best screen. Um, Technology is chosen. So. Nice. So uh, officially, uh, um, this has to be called the Chromium OS. It's because um, at, at some points uh, Google does release official Chrome OS. And do, what did they say about when that happens? Uh, they have not said any, so I cannot comment yeah. anything about that. But Chrome OS is different from Chromium OS, and it is more. Google control because it's supported by Google officially. That's what it means, right? Uh, that that is the OS. claim yeah. from Google, but I don't yeah. have any specifics to tell right because now. Because on chromium.org, uh, uh, anyone can go right now and download a uh, uh, source code for the Chromium project, the Chromium OS project, because right. it's open source. So is that basically what you did? You went and you 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 adapted it for your processor? Yes, that is correct. And. Uh, how big is that job from compared to what is up there? Or is, or is this image actually up there, or isn't it? We are uh, the one that uh, you're using. We are strongly contributing into the Chromium uh, uh, .org uh, community, and uh, there's a lot of participation from our team. This is uh, we have officially announced that MX51 supports Chromium. Uh, so we have posted that on the forums. Of course, uh, interested parties can contact us to get the, um, you know, the running on an MX51 device. Uh, perhaps uh, the, 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 what's it called, the, the, the Chromium uh, uh, user interface is more optimized for laptop form factor. So this is just a demonstration that you, you run it on your, your platform, but it's it could be like laptops, it could be smart books, so like uh, arm-powered laptops. So that's true. I mean, uh, Chromium is also running on x86. So yeah. there is a lot of uh, uh, both x86 as well as ARM. Right. Okay. But uh, I also have Flash 10 um, that is running here. And of course, it's, the aim is to run it on Linux as well as um, Chromium and um, Android. Uh, today, uh, we have it running on Firefox. This is an early version of Flash 10. And uh, I'm trying to see if uh, we can get some good content here to show and, uh, we have actually um, 
We have actually uh, an avatar clip, uh, which hopefully uh, we can um, run with the slow Wi-Fi connection. So it's loading. How would you compare? Uh, this is a Firefox-based browser Correct. to the Chrome, Chromium-based browser in terms of performance. Is there something you can each say about that? Each one uh, differs. I mean, each one has its own pros and cons. Um, I, I believe... Uh, so maybe the Wi-Fi got through here? The uh, Wi-Fi... I don't know why it did not load the avatar. I mean, uh, would you say there are some uh, some uh, uh, Chromium OS optimizations for the ARM processor that uh, uh, is different from the ones that are available in here in this uh, Firefox based? Um, that is different. Uh, yes, that's true. I mean, Chromium is totally different browser, so uh, there are you know the, the rendering, for example, in Chromium happens um, happens faster once all the images are loaded so it's slightly different technologies mm -hmm. um, also HTML5 uh, strong support of that right. so, so this yeah. is loading avatar so it's uh, you can see flash 10 this is a clip flash 10 clip and uh, nice. let me just get it to a position where you can see it and as I said the Wi-Fi is uh, pretty slow. Uh, Is it going full screen? Uh, actually, yeah. And uh, it also has audio. Let's just put some audio. Right, and this is also in production, so it's not on the market yet. Both any of them. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. Yeah. That is true. All right. So later, they will be on the market. Uh, yes, um, I mean we are working on more improvements, optimizations. You can expect to see more releases and and much more devices on the market with different OSs. All right. Thanks. All right. Thank. So here's a Chromium OS uh, login. Yeah. Thanks. And. Um, we're uh, going to show you some HTML5 video content that is being cached locally, and um, hopefully um, it's there on this SD card. You just switched the SD card, and uh, we can show that to you. So. And so this is HTML5. H.264 video. Yes. So this is hooked into our video accelerator, um, and it is uh, rendering directly H.264 content. Obviously, it's a small video, but it shows the power of HTML5 also. Nice. So, so HTML5 video is uh, based on Arc Theory right now. It's uh, Theora or H.264. Okay. I see. If you have the H.264 codec, you can play it as an HTML5. Yes. Good. You can also go full screen with that? No, this is just a sample okay. video, just for, uh, of course, you can go full screen if needed, yeah. but this is just uh, a, you know, a sample video that, that we put in. Good. So. When the switch is there for YouTube in HTML5, it will work. And it, it, it is there actually already. There is a version of it. like somewhere. That's true, yeah. yeah. There is an experiment with yeah. YouTube. So, even that's going to work. Uh, you know, Chromium, uh, Safari browser, and uh, even Internet Explorer all support it. Slowly starting to support full HTML5. So, we will see. Uh, it will be interesting with uh, Flash and HTML5 and what happens in the future. Mm, thanks. Great. Thanks.